Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Play Spelunky. I'm going to be using my hard drive for this video. Um, yeah, so this is going to be uh, another Northern Lion Play series. I recently put up my Let's Look at of Spelunky mission. I've been having a whole heck of a lot of fun with it. And since it's so similar to The Binding of Isaac, I thought this would be a, a really fun game to do a series on. So what we're going to try to do in Spelunky, if you haven't seen the Let's Look at or you don't know what Spelunky is about, go check that out before you watch that. Because that's going to give you the primer about just what the heck this game is about. And I'm going to choose my character. You know what? Let's mix it up. Let's not go with regular Spelunky, man. I kind of don't feel comfortable playing as someone who looks like an 8-year-old girl. I know everyone's screaming, Mustache Man! Mustache Man! But I'm, I'm going to abstain, because I think he's going to be super popular. Instead, I'm going to go as this gentleman right here. Uh, and we're going to try to make this happen. So yeah, if you want to know more about the game, watch that Let's Look At before you watch this, because I'm not going to do that much explaining of the mechanics here. Uh, it's going to be more along the lines of... Uh, Binding of Isaac, where I'm just going to try to sort of make my way. So the way I'm going to structure this, I think, and I'm open to feedback on this, uh, of course the end goal with Spelunky is to go from Mines 1-1, like the very first level in the game, all the way through to the very end of the game with one life. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys, but I am nowhere near that level of skill yet. So I think what I'm going to do, like our first goals are going to be, uh, you know, first few videos, we're going to try to beat the Mines all in one go. Second set of videos, we're going to try to beat... Well, this, this there's going to be no, like, division in set, but... Uh, second set of videos, we'll try to beat the jungle. Then our third goal will beat the ice caves. And our fourth goal will beat whatever the hell the fourth level is. And then after that, once I've actually gotten the skills required... To get through those levels individually, because I am not at that point by any stretch of the imagination yet... Uh, then I'll try to, you know, begin my quest to beat the game front to back, all in one life... Uh, which may take us a long time. That might be like a, a Kerbal Space Program sized order. But for now, all we're going to try to do is beat the mines. I don't think this is going to be exceptionally difficult, but it might take us a couple of videos here. I've beaten the mines probably four or five times. Oh, I didn't even see that arrow trap. I accidentally triggered that with the rock. She was off screen. Okay. But I think... Okay, we have triggered both of these. That's fine. We can grab onto this rock then. It's all good if you're losing health on the first level. There's tons of damsels we can rescue. It'd be nice if I could actually hit the spider with this, though. So yeah, like I said, uh, I don't... <laughs> perfect timing. I don't think that the mines are going to be substantially difficult for me to... Whoa, that was incredibly lucky. Substantially difficult for me to beat, but we'll, we'll give it a try. The jungle, I think, is going to take me a lot longer as of the time of this recording. Uh, I'm probably not at the skill level required to beat the jungle efficiently or reliably by any stretch of the imagination. But eventually we'll open that up. We'll open up the shortcut to the... Ice caves, and then we'll, we'll work from there. But my end goal for this franchise is to eventually, I hear a damsel, is to eventually be able to complete the game in one life. Not every time, because that's just simply unreasonable, but at least once. We'll see if that works out. So we are definitely going to rescue this damsel. I can probably just, yep, use my whip to take out that spider. We'll grab this dog here, get the heck out of here. So we lost one heart, but it's not the end of the world. We gained a decent amount of treasure, and we are going to head down to 1-2. It's entirely possible that I may just beat the mines in this first video, which would be awesome for me, because we could get to the colossal failure of me fucking my way up through the jungle uh, over and over as soon as possible. So let's break this open. We got some stuff to worry about here, but I'm not too concerned about it. Shatter this pot against the wall just in case there's an enemy. Now, I really like fighting these big spiders, because A, it's kind of like a boss battle, which is a little bit fun, but also they drop good items like they, they will drop like a, a standard item like a catcher's mitt or a, a compass or something like that so whenever possible I like to fight them but I don't oh that was a nice double kill there multi kill pets holy shit no I I really don't know uh, if we're gonna be able to get in there I could toss a couple bombs at it maybe an arrow but I think we're, we're kind of descending too fast now for me to worry about that but that's okay that's part of the part of the game in Spelunky you know you just sometimes you're you just don't have I don't know how I set off that arrow trap, but I'm glad I did. Uh, sometimes you just don't have the, the resources and the time to do all the stuff that you want to do, and that's A-OK. -okay. So we do have a shop here. I'm a little wary about bombing my way in because, you know, we do run the risk of angering that shopkeeper. Uh, but let's... I guess I'll toss up a rope here. And I'll climb up here, and we'll bomb our way into the left. Because we kind of reached a dead end there. Which means, generally speaking, I probably took a bad path at some point. Because normally, there is like one good way... Oh, oh, uh, yes, to get to the end without having to use any bombs. Because otherwise the game would be like totally imbalanced. Otherwise you could like run into a situation... Come on, spider, don't fuck with me today. I'm really not in the mood! 
We can just go around him, but I might want to try to buy something as well. What do we have here? By teleporter, by web gun, by bomb box, by freeze ray. Uh, I can't carry the freeze ray with me if I have the dog, I think. So I'm gonna buy the bomb box. Give us a ton of extra bombs, that's awesome. We'll toss a rope up here. This should allow me to get around the spider and carry this dog through to the exit where we will get an extra heart. Remember, that's why damsels are so important, is because each damsel that you rescue gives you one heart. And you have to be really kind of concerned about your health at basically every opportunity. Because, of course, uh, there's only one damsel per level. Sometimes you'll run across a kissing booth, and that'll allow you to get more... Oh! That'll allow you to get more health per level than the, the requisite one heart, or the previous maximum one heart. But that is not... You can't rely on that. I'm also going to pick up the compass. Compass is one of my favorite items in apparently every single game I play. We'll buy some extra ropes as well. Uh, the compass is, is useful because we often come across these levels that are super dark. And it can be a pain in the ass to hold on to a torch to find everything, especially if you come across, like, some dead ends or something. So the compass will be this, like, big red fuck me arrow that's just gonna tell me exactly where the heck to go on levels like that. Well worth 3,000. Uh, which is, you know, in Spelunky terms, $3,000 is basically nothing. So we move our way through here. We got another damsel. I would love to rescue that. Get up to five hearts or more, if possible. And then... Oh, I gotta carry him, of course. We don't just pick him up. This is why I didn't want the freeze ray, because I think when you have the freeze ray... Oh god, don't walk off the edge. That was a bad throw. Uh, I think if you have the freeze ray, if you're holding anything, really, uh, with your your hands, because you can only hold one thing at a time, uh, you can't carry damsels to the exit. And I would much rather spend these early levels trying to amass some awesome health. So we are up to five hearts now, after we go through this door. And this is a much more successful run than I was expecting, to be honest with you. We might actually complete the mines on our first go here, and then that'll give us a crack at the jungle. If I complete the jungle on my first go, maybe we'll try to beat the whole game in one shot on the first video. Ruin the series before it even gets started, right? Got here some spiders. I guess it wouldn't ruin the series. It would kind of make this the most impressive series I've ever made. Do you have to watch out for this arrow trap? I guess I can just go around it? Yes. And because I have so many bombs, why not just clear a path for ourselves here? Should have probably dropped that one closer to the spider. So I'll just keep looking downwards here. I think we're coming... Where's the damsel? A.K.A. this- Oh, who's a cute little pug? That's the exit right there. We'll use our dog to kill everything. And explode the powder keg, and somehow the dog didn't die. And we have beaten the mines seven and a half minutes into the first video. Kind of did not expect that, but we got some lucky runs, and I guess just some good play as well. Let's try our hand at the jungle. So it looks like immediately, basically, we are going to be at the jungle when I start the next video. But that's okay. As much as I'm complaining about the fact that it's kind of ruining my, my initial vision for the series, as we get more bombs, uh, it's actually a very good thing that we can start making this progress early as possible. Because Lord knows I'm going to need a lot of videos to get through the jungle, probably. He says, on knowing that he's going to beat the jungle on his first attempt here. Remember, of course, that Spelunky is permadeath. Oh, I hate that dude. Uh, Spelunky... Ah, I, not as much as I hate bees! Of course, there's a beehive right below me. Uh... God! Frogman, get out! Oh, that's gonna hurt, isn't it? Nope. Bee! Bee! Okay, 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 we're fine. Sort of. I can't get around that, dude, can I? Oh, the bat is stuck in the... I don't want to go into the beehive! I don't want to go into the beehive! I'm gonna have to go into the beehive. Fuck it! Let's do it! Drop some bombs down here. We got this. Get out of here. Get out of here. Look down. Look down. There's the honey. I want the honey. Oh, honey! got me stuck! Get out of there. I'm at, down to one heart already. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, no, no, no. I'm fucked. <laughs> and that is how quickly things can go wrong in Spelunky. Fucking bee sting. Okay, well, we'll continue because I want to start at the jungle now. That was a good run, though. That, that might have been my longest run ever. Although I didn't have the highest money I've ever had, I think. Unless, I can't even look at stats. Okay, let's get started in the jungle here. Like I said, end goal of Spelunky. I think across all, uh, like not even just for YouTube, uh, the end goal for Spelunky is to beat the game all in one go. But for now, I'm going to do things the easy way and try to... That was a surprisingly good dodge, in my opinion there. Um, try to simply beat the individual levels on their own, and then we'll focus on, you know, baby steps first, and then we'll, we'll focus on the big picture. Remember, you can't jump on the piranha plants, as I mentioned in my... Let's look at... We probably can't make that drop, so what I will do is 
just drop a bomb down here. Using a lot of bombs, but that's okay. I do have the parachute, so I can use it for basically no reason. Do I want to go to the left here? I don't think so. So the parachute just prevents us from taking fall damage. So that did not last too, too long. But hey, we got to the end of the jungle part one. Kind of rushing through things a little bit. Didn't rescue a damsel, but that's okay sometimes, isn't it? I think we're doing all right. Anytime I beat a level in the jungle, things are going okay from my perspective. Let's grab this. We got the altar. I'm, I'm still... I feel bad that I haven't been able to show off what the altar does, because sometimes that can be pretty important. Hopefully we'll get a chance to pop a damsel on there. It doesn't actually have to be a damsel. You can pop a... Just like an enemy's body on there as well. We're not going to be able to do that here, though. Let's toss this guy. I was hoping he'd get onto the spikes, but that's good enough. Uh, you can toss just like an enemy's body on there, and sometimes it'll accept it as well. So... I'm going to use a bomb for sure to get to this idol. To give me some extra treasure. But also, you know, runs the risk of trapping me in this water with these bloodthirsty piranhas who would kill me pretty much instantly. Uh, and this is bad because we don't know where the hell we're supposed to go now. Okay, let's drop this. Hit the piranha plant in, into the water. I can't believe that this frog actually managed to get up here, by the way. Uh, and then here's the tricky part. How do we make this jump? I think maybe if we just toss a bomb into the water, then yes, it'll drain, and then we can kind of use this as a platform. Awesome, and now we're stuck. <laughs> I can still use ropes, but I guess I, I've, I've made a wrong turn at some point. That's what happens when you use so many bombs. Oh man, this, this is not good. Can I get around this tiki trap? It's going to be close. I want to get to that chest, though, in case it has bombs. Alright. That was close, as I said. Nope, just gems. Okay. Oh, yeah, I figured that was going to happen. I was doing my best, but I got stuck by it. Okay, so that was... Maybe in the future, I should stop using so many bombs to open up paths for myself. Because it kind of created a, a difficult situation for me there. Where if I had just stuck with the normal path, maybe I would have been able to make it okay. But, ooh, shiny idol! Let's do this again! <laughs> what can I say? I want the gold! And down here, and hopefully... Okay, I should mention, that guy moved out of the way. He tried to give me some fall damage. Just jump on his head. Uh, we could buy this dude, and he would be a follower for us. I don't have the money to buy him right now. Uh, but every follower I've had in this game has been a pain in the ass. Like, one of my first deaths in Spelunky was like, Oh, I found a follower. That's going to help me out. And then he picked up a rock and immediately threw it at my head and just killed me instantly. So, fuck you, dude. I do not require the use of your services to continue. Keep going here. Jung oh, jungle 2-2. Two, two. Oh, God! That's... That, you think I scream like a girl? Fuck you. I don't want to be here. How am I supposed to get through this? Let's look down. Okay, I can just make this jump. If I go fast enough, I didn't go fast enough. I hate the fucking tiki traps when they're right next to ledges. Because there's like... I feel like I... There's nothing you can do about it. In reality, I'm probably just not fast enough right now. I get that a lot. I'm slow. I like to take my time. You know, act like you've been there before. Okay, how are we gonna do this? We can throw our idol at the bat. Put it right in front of the tiki trap, that's awesome. Okay, we're safe. I kind of don't want to be here. Yeah, I can go down this way instead. Oh, boomerang! Did you see that? Oh my god! I need to play some Legend of Zelda with this guy. That is amazing! Hit me with the boomerang four times in a row on one shot. I did not expect that. It's hard to be pissed off. Like, I, I ain't even mad. That was just a great shot. Let's pick up the gold here. Gold important. Oh, that was bad. Uh, not just for high scores, but also, of course, for actually buying items, which will help you out in the game. Um, I'm just looking for the exit here. Maybe it's a little bit further away. Oh, why? That is the oldest trick in the book. It's like somebody glued a quarter to the ground, and I bent over in a skirt or something to pick it up. That's, that's how I feel right now. I feel like somebody just I fucked me in the butt. Terror! Oh, I didn't I didn't blow anybody up. What's wrong with this dude? He's freaking out. I don't even want your treasure, man. I know you will kill me like instantly. I need to get out of here. Yes, I can't be in there with the piranhas. Oh no no! I thought they were both dead. Okay. Those piranhas are such a fucking pain in the ass. They will just maul you to fucking death. Get out of there! They smell blood. Okay, here's something we can actually do. First off, there's a dog in here. Where, where's the person? Oh, the dog is manning the display, I guess. What we can do, I wanna, I wanna play the wheel. 
What? Oh, maybe I angered this dude by accident? Whatever. Oh, that dog's dead. So I'll throw him at his owner. <laughs> uh, what's going on down here? I don't want to be... Oh, that's the exit. Okay, we'll just walk through that. How did I miss that? Uh, yeah, that was weird. But I think that's... Is that 2-1 that we completed or 2-2? Two, two? That was only... That was only 2-1. Okay, this is one of those levels that I've been talking about where it says, like, you can't see a thing. So what we're going to do is carry around this torch. Lots of things, of course, out to kill us. What we can do... Oh, that was terrible. The piranha plant ate that frog. I've never seen that before. Um, what we can do is carry around this torch and light torches along the way. Oh, you can't jump up piranha plants. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, and my torch got out. Oh, this is bad. Just end it. Just end it! Bomb frog! Did not light the torch like I expected him to. I can't see what the fuck's going on. I should be dead, like, any second now. Yep, there we go. I deserve that. And also, I kind of welcomed it, because I was in a terrible position. I like how my first Spelunky run was, like, seven minutes. And the ensuing seven minutes have just been me dying over and over. Uh, to be honest with you, I have, when it says I, I hear rushing water, I have no idea what that means. So, we'll see what that does. I imagine it has something to do with everybody's favorite universal solvent. Let's move our way around here. I hate bees! Fucking bees! That, rushing water! Bees hate rushing water! It's, it's like in their handbook. Oh man, I got killed instantly. So there's like an underwater jungle or something. I guess if I could check that out, there's probably some kind of item, perhaps, at the bottom of it. Like I said, mines... <laughs> oh, Spelunky! Uh, that run was nine seconds long! Uh, mines, I find pretty dang easy. No, I didn't want that! I want the... Duh! I want the title! What am I gonna do with this native man? Alright, well, hopefully... Yep, he just got eaten by a plant. Smart thinking, Einstein! Wow, I am doing piss poor now. Where are my damsels at? Bow wow wow, yippee yo, yippee yay. Where are my damsels at? Bark with me now. Alright, so I can officially shut down my Let's Play channel now that I have done a DMX reference in a video. Sad thing is, that's probably not the first one. I, I, I can almost guarantee I've done an X gonna give it to you reference before. But anyway, this is the kind of insanity that this game gets out of me. That spider could have almost cost me my life. All these piranhas are dead. I can open this chest safely. Get some extra gold or gems. And work our way out of here. Angry spider is angry. Happy. Red turbaned man is happy. Because he- Ah! Oh! He's got all this dope go- No, 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 no! You're gonna open the beehive! You fool! Don't anger the bees! Ow! Oh, they're in my eyes! Okay, well, we got an interesting situation here. B-Man! Alright, fuck you, B-Man. You know, we're gonna do one more run in this video, and then I am gonna call it quits. And we will start from the jungle next time. Should just call this series, like, A Thousand Ways to Die. Northern Lion plays Spelunky, but I'm pretty sure there's, like, ten YouTube series right now called A Thousand Ways to Die. So I don't want to step on any toes. Oh, this is bad. I was just hoping I didn't take any fall damage there. I had no kind of insight. Got kind of lucky. I find I do a lot better when I just rush through things. So I can't fuck with this piranha plant too much. Yep. Thanks for just eating me in one hit. We're going to do one more run. If I just hit him with my whip, we would have... Like, that's the difference between a good run and a bad run in Spelunky. Don't jump in the water here. Uh, in a good run, just by using our whip effectively there, we would have gotten to the end without taking any damage. Because it was a bad run, instead, we got killed instantly. This is fucking crazy. Where is our path to go downwards? We can capture these lightning bugs, and they give us a ton of, uh... It's probably worth the rope, actually. Oh, no! I just killed it. <laughs> I was gonna use that rope to get the lightning bug. Never mind. I hate in the jungle when you jump down and you can't see where you're going. Because there could be, like, tiki traps right in front of you. And you wouldn't even know. There we go. We got some extra ropes. Normally those lightning bugs give you like uh, a lot of extra money when you when you get them. So I wanted to get that one if at all possible. Make sure to land in this thing to reduce our fall damage. And I guess tiki traps, we, kn we know when they're coming because we can see those flaming eyes. But 
you know, we could easily land on some spikes or something. We also get gold or money every time we light up one of those torches. So let's move onwards here. We're not going to need this torch on the next floor. I would say that went reasonably well, wouldn't you? 2-1 completed. Why does it feel like I should be on like 7-5 by now? A level that doesn't even exist. Some extra ropes. Some extra bombs. That's awesome. Don't find those too often. At least I haven't in my limited experience with the game so far. Like I said, like, forgive my, my mistakes in Spelunky. Oh, glorious commenters. We'll definitely bomb our way down in here to get to the damsel. Uh, I've only got like two or three hours in Spelunky so far. Pretty much in my entire life. Like, I didn't play too much of the PC version. So, if I'm making mistakes, well, that's the point, isn't it? So we do have a, a secret character in there that we want to unlock. If this guy steals my dog, I'm going to be pissed. Monkey Man! I don't think we can bomb our way into here. I'll try, because I've got more bombs now. Oh, we can. Never mind. So this should unlock a new character for us. We got Purple Lady. She's a pirate, apparently. Uh, she's going to follow us around, but she'll probably die fairly quickly. I may also just use her as a... Can she take this rope? Yes. Uh, I may also just use her as a human shield for some stuff. That's fine. We can now use her in the adventure mode and the multiplayer mode. But we did get to the end. So that's 2-2 two, two done. We've only got two more levels to go here. And we've got decent health, if I remember correctly. Like, four? Four is pretty decent. And we got a damsel right off the bat. Luckily, I got all those extra bombs. So I will certainly do that. Did a little bit of damage to the dog, but these guys are resi- oh, Probably shouldn't whip it. Uh, <laughs> These guys are resilient. They take more damage than you would think. Here. Oh, that's some fall damage, isn't it? That is some fall damage right there. And that's some fall damage. No, 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 no. <laughs> I had it. I had it within my grasp all because of that st I did that stupid jump. Otherwise, it would have been okay. But in any case, as always, thank you guys for watching and supporting the first episode of a new series. This is Northern Lion Plays Spelunky. Planning on playing this until, at the very least, I actually see and beat every level in the game. And then we'll talk about doing, like, a run all the way through in one go, which, you know, would take me, like, 150 videos, probably. At least with my skill level right now. But as always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.